That's the way it stands at this moment in the final round of the MCI Heritage Classic. Peyton Stewart at about six foot tall. Uh, by seven, one of our leaders. Two nice birdie putts there by our last group, Mr. Jones and Mr. Stewart. And let's go to the tee on the 13th hole. Payne Stewart, one over par for the day, but tied for the lead, along with Steve Pate and Greg Norman. This is for a birdie. Take it out right. Accustomed to being here in this position on Sunday, last year's winner. He's trying to be the only guy in history to do it two in a row. Steve Jones currently even par for the day, minus six. Now two shots back. This is a good putting stroke right here. All arms. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh the dreaded cellophane bridge got him. Oh, how did that miss? At the moment, Payne Stewart has a one stroke lead over Peyton Norman. playing the best, it seems, of all the leaders. Today, perhaps, we've seen more birdies than in days past to 13. Well, that was an opportunity for Payne Stewart to really slam the door in his opponent's faces. That was a chance for a three-stroke advantage. Now, he has to regroup and... Uh, try and save his par. <gasps> wow, that didn't even hit the hole. So now we have uh, a very interesting situation once again. Payne Stewart has, has thrown it back at his uh, rivals. Andy Bean just made a phenomenal uh, birdie from off the green at the 17th. Back at 14. It's an eight iron for Payne Stewart. A big one, and it's right at the flag. <coughs> Go in! Oh, gorgeous shot by Payne Stewart. So if there's any, ever any doubt about it. What shape is golf swing in? He laid it to rest with that swing here at 14. Yes, at the last. Just about lost speed. This is the tee at 15 and the solo leader, Payne Stewart. This is a long, tight par five. Beauty. He loves it. And there you see why. This is a three shot par five. Payne Stewart is in perfect shape, watching from 100 yards away. This to move within one. Yes! You thought it was in. We all did. Payne Stewart from 100 yards. Just 100 yards, and he comes up short, but gets some help from the slope. But not a good shot. Not a good shot at all. Downhill. Still a 
one shot lead for Payne Stewart. Don't forget about this man, Larry Mize for birdie to go eat under. Perfectly red. And he goes to eight under. And just think what would have happened, Pat, without that double bogey at 14. He shoots 66 anyway. Mize moves to eight under. Payne Stewart had to hear the roar. I don't know if he's sure what happened, but he knows something happened. There's a tie for the lead in the final round, an eight under par. But Gary, I'm not sure that he knows that Mize is in the clubhouse at eight under. Perfect opportunity now to get one real close and grab that lead. Well, I'll give that one a five on a 10 scale and let's go to 17. We're back and so is Steve Jones who just moved to minus seven one shot out of the lead. And this race is getting tired than Ben Wright's pants right now. We've got two guys at eight, three guys at seven. Andy being in at six. This is getting fun for the lead. Oh. Oh, that's not nice on Easter Sunday. Perfect speed, top of the hole. Gravity should have got it. Oh. Oh. Good birdie at 18 as we go back to 17. And that's Steve Jones, my word. What a glorious shot. So he will tie the lead with two birdies in a row. And Payne Stewart has chosen a seven iron. The breeze has uh, fallen to nothing at all at the moment. That's oh. well. It was another great shot, but it's, there's a little swale in that uh, corner of the green that carries the ball away to the right. And it got away with a vengeance. Of course, Steve Jones has already tapped in. He, his birdie was just a formality, and. Uh, Interestingly enough, if these gentlemen all do get into a playoff, Jones is 2 and 0, oh, as you see him tap in. Stewart is 0 and 5, and Mize is 1 and 1. So, very different fortunes in playoffs so far. Now, Payne Stewart to remain tied with Mize and Jones. And they will come back here if that tie is not resolved at the 18th. Just like he said on the practice tee, he worked on rhythm, takeaway, and smooth, and that is perfect. Greg Norman from maybe being involved in a playoff. Look how close. Maybe one more turn. He handles himself very well, Raymond. Pat, he's gone with an eight iron. He's got to have to stand on it to get to the flag. Well, he's got a shot. He guarded from going left. He left himself to make sure that he gets it on the green. Still believing eight will get him in a playoff. I like I like what he just did. He was very aggressive. The eight iron was the club to make birdie. It's nice to see him go in there with the effort trying to make the birdie to, get, to win the golf tournament. Steve He's tied with Steve Jones. 165. Well, it's not over yet. And the way he's been putting has birdied 16 and 17. 
wouldn't it be nice to see him win after losing the tournament and by hitting it out of bounds one year? He comes back and wins by birding the last three. That would be, that'd be exciting. Well, Larry Mize will sit there, Raymond, and the best he can hope for is a playoff. One of these two is hoping to walk away the winner. You got that right. I think his thoughts right now are just give it a good stroke. Just get it going on the line. Let it have a chance. Get it to the hole. Must have lost its speed. It looked like it fell out right at the bottom. The grain goes a little that way, and when it lost its speed, it took it right out of the hole. But if that was just a little bit, just a little bit harder, it goes dead center. He hit a he hit a wonderful putt. He really did. Nice putt. Stewart. Larry Myers is in at eight under. Nice this is one thing, Raymond, and you're a good putter, is that once you make up your mind, you don't second guess this putt. He's ready to go. I like it. I like what he's doing. He's he's got a good feel and he's not gonna mess around. He's gonna knock this putt right in the middle of the hole. He played quick, the grain got him, and I don't think he took enough time. That was fast I've ever seen anybody putt a putt that had a chance to win a championship. So. Well, we've got a lot of people moving and running now for the playoffs, so he's got to collect himself and get this on in the hole to get in this playoff. Mize, Stewart, and if he makes this, Steve Jones. He'll hit it back to 17. Oh, my goodness. Very, very close to another hole in one. We had Mize and Jones almost hole in one in regulation play. What a magnificent stroke by Payne Stewart. There you see just how close it is. That's right at it too. If it's right at it, but it'll stop short probably, no. Wow, there's some high caliber golf shots being played at this hole. And he is two and zero in playoffs. And that will not allow him much of a chance. Yeah. Oh, yes. Well, those of the 18th may very well see it. Well, that's terrific. To make back to back two here is just uh, remarkable. Steve Jones has been eliminated uh, and now Payne Stewart must hold this to go to the 18th. Well, they go to the 18th and we'll be back with more golf action from the Harbour Town Golf Links after this word from your local station. There's the famous lighthouse and that of course Payne Stewart clad in the colors of the Seattle Seahawks today. Larry Mize has birdied four out of the last five holes and uh, Payne Stewart went off with a three wood guarding against of going into the marsh Raymond. I think it was an intelligent play. He's a little pumped up, and if he catches his drive really solid with a little right to left move, he can get down there in trouble. You saw the difference of the way Larry Mize lined up his putt at 18 and the extra hole compared to the way Steve Jones did at 18. There was a long lapse in between. Speaking of a guy who's pumped up, Larry Mize. Well, he's got a plus after making bogey, double bogey, and still in the playoff. The odds of two twos at 17 are pretty high. You bet. That's a nice. Uh, narrow little place where that flag is at 17 to make two birdies. Come left and get down. Mike. That is long and to the right. That good, good position. That ball checked up fast. 
Well, you heard him say, come left, get down and bite. I he said, listen, they say it doesn't work to talk to a golf ball. I thought you only got one wish. He was giving it a lot of directions <laughs> there, wasn't he, Pat? Yeah. I think it listened to all of them. The result was excellent. Steve, what's he have done there? Kenny, you called it right. He's pumped up. He's got a nine iron. I think those clubs are jacked up some. I don't, that's a long nine iron. Well, I tell you, if those clubs aren't jacked up, I want to go on the weight program he's on because he's hitting them a long ways. He's supposed to have a bad back. Now we know why. That's right of the hole. A little longer putt than he had the first time around. You don't make a lot of these from this distance, but you get it going down your intended line, it may go in for you. What a stroke, Pat. I guess he did go to school, but as you once say, Raymond, you can have all the lines. You gotta have the stroke. <laughs> That's what it's all about. And Larry Mize did not change expression. He watched it go in. He did not change expression. And to him, it's not over yet. Good putt. Just off the left. That's some great golf, though, and it's first time in the history of the Heritage that we have had the winner repeat. And it's a shame to see uh, one of those players have to lose. Payne, the putt you made, you drilled it. How similar was it to the 72nd hole? It was a little bit. I had a little more break this time from right to left, and the, the first putt I, I thought I'd made on the 72nd hole that it didn't go right at the end. Well, we're watching it right now. You've won this tournament back to back years. How special is that for you? Well, that's that's very special, Jim. I've, uh, I'm very pleased with the way I played today. I I didn't uh, I didn't make any putts all day long and then all of a sudden boom, boom. Congratulations Thanks. to you. Let's go back to Pat Summerall. All right. For our CBS Sports announced crew, then this is Pat Summerall saying so long from the Harbortown Golf Links in Hilton Head Island, South oh. Carolina. I bust a